or beautiful which one is gonna be stronger what is up guys and welcome to the beyond standard channel my name is shanks and today we are on the legendary map anorian in a 2v2 matchup between the white corner player the white hand craxy his ally the pink eisinger player mostafa they're against the green rohan player greenleaf and his ally bottom left is the red rohan player jackass Double Rohan versus Eisen Gondor. Pretty difficult and rough matchup for Double Rohan team, but maybe they can make it work. So he's capturing the settlement, starting with blacksmith and a farm. That's the opening you need to do. In the meantime, he is actually being able to catch those peasants at the bottom side of the map. And in a 2v2 situation, the soldiers, well trained swordsmen of Gondor against drafted peasants. Who's gonna win this one? Of course, the soldiers, especially with the Pippin, who is, of course, the Peregrine of the Tower Guard. With level 5, he will also deal more damage. Warchan can be used here on this Uruks to deal with those peasants faster. The second they fight, you need to use Warchan, and it's gonna be also the plan. Aizen starting with a Furnace and a Uruk Pit. But you could also start with Double Furnace and go for Lourdes. Lourdes against Double Rohan? Holy moly, that's gonna be so good, you know? Lord so good against Rohirrim and also against heroes like Eoma. Theodin, you can creep with him, get level 3. And that means whenever you will cripple Eoma, Theodin, or even Legolas, you can just throw your sword, use Carnage, and go in. Just go in, okay? Hobbit fight, my favorite. Throwing rocks. Oh, that's gonna be reveal. Too many peasants. Gondor is exposed. Where are the soldiers? He's using them for offense against good Rohan this is not gonna work and the peasant is gonna be taken down by the peasant uh, by the uh, the hobbit is gonna be taken down by the peasants and the worst thing is this peasant can even cloak here it means gondor won't be able to reclaim the settlement anytime soon but he doesn't need to you know cloak yet he can fight this hobbit will deal a lot of damage the uruks are super badly damaged heal is gonna be used on them but it won't change too much too many peasants and the hobbit is hitting like a truck Good eco for Aizen though, he's towering up for the worst case scenario, Rohirrim upon the field for Green Rohan, he was also giving the farm to his ally, so three farms, that's also like teamwork can make the dream work, I'm telling you that much, okay? This player might go for heroes or can go for the middle camp, these are the two available options. The worst thing you can do is to go also for horses, then Aizen, all he gotta do is make pikemen. You know, he can counter both of you. So you need to have, like, the synergy. You do this, I do this. Then you need to have a solution to all the possible problems you might get later on. Eisen creeping. No lords yet. But we have Boromir upon the field. Boromir creeping the troll at the bottom side. No problemo. And getting to level 4, of course, very, very good. Leadership for the combos of Eisen. In 2.2... People like to make combos, you know, because the units are very fast. Hobbit cloaked here. That means you will need to have Faramir, who is coming. Faramir can clear this, no problemo. Boromir was able to get the last hit, but the money will be taken away by Rohan. Two parts of the money, at least. Only one part of the money was collected by Gondor, player Boromir. Okay, Rohan is creeping here with the Rohirrim, and we have Elma upon the field. Eoma should be the one who's getting the last hit on this creep to get to level 2 because level 4 is the power spike we are looking for. And that's gonna be also the team plan here. Give it to Eoma. But help him a bit, you know, because Eoma will need lots of time to creep the solo. Now you can disengage and Eoma will take it and get experience for free. Faramir still wasn't able to clear the Soviet. The peasants are the higher priority. Kill them first before you can before you will lose your second farm the eco from gondor is not looking too hot and he will send boromir to this location he was able to kill a bunch of peasants and get level five that means horn of gondor can be quite threatening he will get knocked down by the troll but he will also be able to knock down the troll you ain't touching me cave troll it knocked down that's the power of boromir if boromir wasn't able to do this he would be legit the worst hit on the game <laughs> because his damage is kind of tiny you know, he has not like a high damage, he has 75 damage, which is with level 5, let's be honest, not very good. Faramir, level, uh, level 3 damage is 70. But Boromir is also hitting way harder, way faster, I mean. You know, the attack speed is also very important. For example, a hero like Legoras who can shoot like 3 arrows a second, 
versus a hero like i don't know faramir who is dealing more damage but he's shooting only once every 10 seconds emma spear was hurting him he was forced to use heal almost level seven it's going to be unlocking the for gondor ability for even greater amount of damage if rohirrim arches from the red rohan player and use a regular rohirrim from the green rohan player he has also theorin who's level one and yeah I don't know what the plan is maybe he want to go for aragorn or something because i believe jackass has too much money he has 2600 he can go for theodin himself he can make gimli he can make more army let's see what the plan is he's also pinging the gonna play him and saying to eisen you can have this then you have three lumber mills you would have good eco because eisen is spamming lots of pikemen but he has lords up on the field boromir is you know is being sent forward uh, farami is level three and Boromir, I mean Lourdes, I don't see Lourdes on the field. Boromir might be in trouble here. The army of Rohan has no upgrades yet. That means they will be quite squishy. And the pikemen Lourdes combination. Cripple has been used, but I don't know where. Uh, nobody was getting crippled. Both or all heroes are remaining. We have Legolas upon the field. Actually, he went for Legolas. Not bad. I like Legolas, actually, you know. Good hero killer, Legolas, outranging Faramir, and also can permanently shoot down Boro Farah from a long and safe distance. And especially when he gets some levels on him. Look, the Bombo combo. He has no more heal. Phew! Double shot. And level 3 unlocked. Boromir has to run. The stun saved Boromir, actually, but his brother wasn't saved because you can't stun heroes. Elmer Spear. But, you know, and this dude dealing damage from a long distance, finishing the kill with Talk Strike. Very good combo there from Rohan. Elmer is level 3 though. He needs still one full level. Getting more Rohir marches and going for the armory next. Aizen has Lords level 1 only. Level 5 would be amazing. And you gotta make combos. Uh, Farami will be revived, only 8, 800, and also you need to only wait one minute to get him back because he was getting killed with level 3. Each level you will get now, from level 4 to level 7, it's going to increase your revive time to four, uh, 2 minutes, and, and even to 2 minutes, 30 seconds, when you are, once you are higher than 8, okay? 8 or higher. He's making combos, his Bora leadership is pretty good, Bora was also able to survive, very close to level 7, and Rohan... Like, this is going to be an awkward situation because Rohan army is going to be very strong once Glorious Charge is going to be available. But as we are talking, Theodine's on the level 1. So, with this being said, he needs 3 full, full levels. But even if you can't fight the army, beautiful Hawk Strike from this dude. Level 4 unlocked. He can even level up those Rohir Marches, by the way, with the 3 Archers because they are considered as Archers. The pikemen will get slaughtered, no problemo. Industry has been used on this one. So much money. Look at this. This is Team Synergy, by the way. That was not possible in the OG version of the game. But now the Team Synergy between good and evil is even greater than it was. Saruman has been recruited. Next, coming up Armory for Aizen. And Gondor has three combos with Boromir leadership. And potentially also the Vorchan later on. And even Faramir, who needs one more level. And a quarter. Beautiful shot. This Legolas is actually doing a phenomenal job for Rohan. This is so annoying to play against, you know, when you are playing Aizen or Gondor, because he's so fast, you can't catch him. What you could potentially do, though, because the way it works, Lords and also uh, Legolas have the same movement speed. But there is a tool you can make your Lords faster with the Vision of Palantir. You can use it on your Lords, then you can keep chasing Legolas close the distance and cripple him. Legolas being extremely powerful in terms of damage, but very squishy in terms of tankiness, so you can easily kill him, you know. Going for the base rush, also Eomana from the green Rohan player. No pikemen in the base, or not enough pikemen, but he's changing his mind. He's too scared of these towers, because he has no more horse, no horseman shields just yet. And there is a Saruman, there are too many combos. Beautiful hit by Legolas, dude. This is so crazy. They have no armor leadership because Saruman was too far away. When this guy is level 5, they will be able to resist the damage from Legolas a bit. But for now, not quite. Because Warchant was used, I believe, on them. No, no it didn't. It didn't use Warchant. You need Horseman Shields here. Very important, by the way. Horseman Shields, but you need one more Rohirrim to get your stable to level 2. Gondor has no farms outside. 
It means his money is not looking too good. He has 900. He was just buying middle and he has all he has these three combos. And he's saving for the middle now for a long time, okay? Beautiful shot one more time from Legolas. Oh, he's going for a trample. Beautiful trample. Horn of Condor. No resistances because you need to be at least level three. Beautiful fireball from the young wizard in scan. You know, bottom is saying you will not enter Gondor. Actually getting chunked a lot. Uh, don't underestimate the damage leadership from Boromir. And Lourdes has to be closer to the army of Gondor. Because there is also Aragorn. There are so many targets for Lourdes, but only one of them can be crippled. Even a Lambermill worker has joined the battlefield, okay? He's like, I'm supporting you guys. I'm your cheerleader. He will get leveled up. One combo has been entirely killed by Legolas Hulkstrike, by the way. Only two combos remaining. He's making this. Uh, statues and also the well will give you the bonus to make your infantry units cost less but you need to have at least two wells to enable this Aizen or Gondor need siege weapons they need either the siege work from Gondor or the siege work from Isengard or Ballista or Trebuchet to break through the parts of the walls of Grohan players that's a huge army from Red Rohan Eoma still needs a full level Pikeman exposed, no heavy armor, will get shredded and one-shotted. Now it's all about Tom and Jerry situation. All you need to do is dance around the rosy, stole by time, and your Logaras can be used to do this, what he's just doing. Farming PowerPoints machine. That's what the Prince of the Mirkwood Elves is all about. Getting level almost 6, each level making him deal way more damage, and that means heroes like Saruman can't play the game when Legolas is around level 7 because his DPS is going to be so high that means even if he gets crippled by the time Lourdes will draw the sword and reach out to Legolas Legolas will keep shooting at him all the time and by the time he's finally there Legolas will be able to kill him that's how Legolas you know how strong he's going to be Huge army, you have no horses, that means you have no chance of map controlling, you will keep losing your only farm. That's why he has three blacksmiths inside the middle camp to compensate the loss he will receive all the time and going for the iron ore eventually to boost the income from those blacksmiths, you know. No Gandalf, not enough combos, you need tower guards. Eisen also has, has now lots of combos, he has actually one, two, three combos, four combos and two pikemen. Uh, you want to use this every two minutes. Um, they should be. He has even Anduri Sword. Let me take a look into the power points from Jackass. He has Anduri Sword. I should have. I think he would have. He should have gone for the land, but I think it's okay. Anduri will make Aragorn super tanky and also crazy strong. Hundred percent. Nobody can one v one Aragorn. Like no hero can do this. You know. You know one on one. Always bet your money on the King of Gondor. So they are planning to attack this location. In the melee damage combined with the range damage, you have no counters. The pikemen will get shredded by the Rohirrim archers and the structures will get shredded by the Rohirrim. Three farms for Rohan, the red Rohan player. Now he's going for the archer range, but he has already fire arrows. I don't know why he's going for the archer range. Uh, structure is falling in a second. All he needs is Elma level 4. And that's gonna change literally everything. Now it's all about cat and mouse. They need to rotate. You can't give this area up for no reason. He has even Eowyn up on the field. And Eoma, this Theorin, he's not demolishing the structures in time. Level 3 furnace is gonna fall. Theorin getting level 2. And there goes um, the combos. You can fight this, but Saruman is getting chung, 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 chung. Legolas didn't shoot him. Heal is gonna be used. Just turn and fight. Turn and fight. You can win this fight. Isengard is underestimating the damage of the crossbowmen against Rohirrim archers while fire being their biggest weakness. But you can't ignore this. Look, Legolas keeps shooting on Saruman all the time. In the meantime, almost 70% of the bees from Aizen has been shredded and completely destroyed. And the spear throw will finish him. And level 5 has been unlocked. You see, they don't know what to do. Legolas being chung, chung, chunked. But remember, Aragorn can always use Atelas to save him a bit. Beautiful Hulk Strike one more time. And who can catch this guy? Nobody. You have no horses. That's why you need mobility against certain units or certain heroes. 
Elvin will also get away. Boromir is getting chunked. Aragorn using the Blade Master, beating or forcing Boromir to retreat. And yeah, the fight will end now. But who is the loser of this battle? Saruman has been killed. The Uruk pit has been destroyed. Half of the beast is gone. And now the middle is exposed too. The mobility, if used correctly, can be so powerful. And that's exactly what you are seeing here. Forcing them to move from the middle to the top. Middle to the top. And because they do this, you can reach every area way faster. So what Aizen has to do is leave some units in the base. Oh, he's gonna use the ability to kill Eowyn. Did he die? Yeah, he died. He died. He died. He died. Too many pikemen. They can't move. They are riding into the into the pikemen. They will hit him, and they will get killed. Boromir, I believe, is now level eight, even level seven, actually. Lord's level two. For Gondor, is ability, uh, ability is available. There is a farm from Gondor in front of the bees of Rohan. It's kind of random. He's demolishing the structure, reviving his Theoden, of course. He's only level one. Unfortunately, he's far away from getting anywhere close. To the glorious charge uh, but legolas being the mvp over here this leadership doesn't do anything for the rohir match it only affects the alvin warriors for more dps and combat experience not very significant but he's a hero who got it all you know leadership ability to train knife fighter for more tankiness and poke and burst all what your heart desires legolas has it all here you want to leave a pikeman and a combo inside the middle camp. And this middle camp is going to be just safe. The statue will give you leadership. The weather is going to give you sustain. But your base is exposed. And these two pikemen, I don't think they can defend against this many Rohirrim. That's a huge rate of the Rohirrim. Saruman just joined the battlefield. But they are paying attention to this location. Beautiful fight. Look, kiting, you know, hitting, running, hitting, running, hitting, running. They are tunnel vision focused on Legolas. Heal is going to be used. Lourdes just idle lords just chilling not creep crippling cripple lords dude there is a hero in front of your face and he will die before he can even cripple once aragor now no leadership for his army because he was paying attention to this location here is going to be used from the green rohan player this guy doesn't pay attention but Theoden got killed randomly i think he was you know kind of riding or elma got killed he was riding into the pikeman and that's so much experience. Holy moly. Aragorn. Level 7. Again, bees heavily damaged. Saruman got killed. Lourdes got killed. We have catapults for the Gondor player. He has a couple of combos. No Gandalf. But I changed my mind. Gandalf is just here. But the thing about Gandalf is, he's a powerful hero, no doubt. But look what he has to fight against, boys. Like level 5, level 5 Rohirrim archers. Level 8 Rohirrim archers. Level 6, I mean, sorry. Also level 8, right? There is a level 8. Yeah, level 8. Uh, with Aragorn leadership, Theoden leadership, and Elma leadership. And there is a Legolas, level 7. He's gonna use the E study, but he won't die to this. But he's gonna get knocked down. Maybe you can finish him now. Oh, he finally got to kill him. Okay, level 3. Rohiri March, uh, Theoden. But Legolas got killed. That's a huge kill. Now you wanna turn and fight. You wanna turn and fight. Use for Gondor and fight this. Don't lose your army like this. Going ham. Oh, missing the blast. Getting chunked. Here is going to be used. Beautiful shot with the catapult. That's a huge damage dealt to the Rohir Marches. Faramir also level 6 now. That means this Gondor is as strong as he potentially can get. Uh, but he lost Boromir before. So he's missing the big amount of damage leadership. And he has also the four Gondor. The army of Rohirrim, normal regular Rohirrim, are trying to invade the base of Isengard once more. Beautiful blast, but he has no more. Oh, the Elven spear throw. Dude, don't underestimate this, man. Le this guy has also crazy leadership on his army, though. He has Elma leadership, Theoden leadership, and Elven spear throw just chunks almost every single hero in the meantime the base in the middle is exposed it looks like faramir has been killed because he was paying attention to his gandalf rohirrim archer's specialty is to kill heroes you need to fight this but you don't want to fight against aragorn you want to attack the rohirrim archers always like my general rule is always kill the heroes first unless it's a aragorn who is has who has under his sword and blade master once the blade master is gone then you can turn and kill him did he use ability 
no. What is Faramir? I think Faramir got just revived, no? No, Faramir just... Boromir got revived. Okay, level 7 Boromir. It would be a different situation if Boromir would be around this location. Because he could keep knocking down Aragorn on the ground all the time. But it looks like Aizen is just permanently defending and so is Gondor. They can't really advance. Gandalf has been killed. You need more trebuchet. You need Firestone. That's a big army in the middle. Boromir is running it down. Boromir is not paying attention. He can get shot in the face. He's gonna use the for Gondor. That's a huge for Gondor. But Glorious Charge has been available now for the Rohirrim players. For the Rohan. For the Riddermark. But even with Rohirrim, with this, you know, this is too much damage. Stichu plus 100% damage from Boromir all alone. This plus this is able to stack with each other. That's a huge army. 7 power points for Jackass. After the Cloud Break, that's how many power points he was able to collect. This is crazy. Greenleaf has 3 power points after the Alvin Woods. Gondor has 4 power points after the Rohirrim Summon. Eagles would be a big mistake. Here you, you need Cloud Break. Eagles will get legit one-shotted by this Rohirrim Arches. No doubt about that one. Isengard has three and rain that can be quite good to negate the leadership from these dudes which is really important because right now they are as strong as you potentially can imagine glorious charge from this rohan player he has eoma leadership he has aragon leadership he has theodin leadership this in level 10 dude level 10 so i don't know about this one Lourdes has to join them, but Lourdes is only level 3. Saruman is coming to join the battlefield. Saruman has to support this army of Gondor. It's very important. Just spam pikemen in the bees, but you want to support your ally with your Saruman in combos. He can't fight against all of this alone. That's not possible. Uh, these heroes, unless they are running it down like this, then they will die. Elma Dying. Okay, they are grouping though. It's gonna be a 2v1 situation. This Isengard is, doesn't know what to do. He was afraid that Rohan can go for his castle, but you need to sometimes just take the risk. That's a huge Rohirrim army and you don't have nearly enough tower guards. He's gonna be caught by the arrow volley! Cloudbreak, Vorchant, Boromir has no ability yet. There comes the freezing rain, lots of planes and covers. Cloudbreak, I believe, was used by the Rohan player but he will have almost the EOD very, very soon. Prex is also now the Cloud Break if he wants to. He will level up. And two trebuchet. They can still break through. No problem. They have no leadership. This land is from the green Rohan player. It means no way to regain the leadership bonuses. They are pinging and saying come to this location. But this land, you have no leadership even on the land. Rain is active, my friends. Rain is active. But they have eventually the glorious charge. No? Yes, they have the glorious charge. And it will be now used. A huge army of regular Rohirrim and Rohirrim arches. For Gondor, for Rohan. Which one is gonna be stronger? They are trampling. Aragorn is killing Saruman. You did. This is so not okay. This, thought you, this shouldn't be legal. Dude. You don't have to do a thing with Saruman. Just stay behind the combos. Give them leadership. You win this so hard. You have Warchant, Farah, Boro for Gondor. You have crazy DPS. All you gotta do, save the heroes. EOD from Rohan player Jackass. The second glorious charge. What is better than one Rohan? It is two Rohans. And holy moly, boys. Ain't summon two. A smart move. Get away. Use the uh, rock throw to break through the wall. These catapults are no threat. They can get one shot by the slow here matches. The rain's effect is going to be gone very soon. Big mistake by the Isengard player. Never crippling. I mean, I need to kind of... Like, that's your only goal with Lourdes. Just select your lords, press C button on your keyboard, and select any hero. You have so many targets. Theodin, Eoma, Eowyn, Aragorn, Legolas. Anyone. Just select. He's gonna use the Palantir to get there faster, but these combos have no leadership, bro. Like, they can't. Is lords level 5 yet? He doesn't even revive his lords. Does he have no money? Yeah, he has money. But I think he forgot to revive his lords. Um... Getting shot here. Turn and fight. Like, listen, when you know you can't get away from a situation, 
all you gotta do is turn and fight them deal at least some damage in return you know okay he's finally doing it aragorn level 9 by the way hulk strike kaboom legolas level 8 aragorn going ham aragorn's damage is gonna be crazy now aragorn against the world I am Isildur's heir. Fight for me, and I will reward you. And your reward shall be death. Um, Ains are not able to break through. And um, Boromir and Faramir revived. EOD is cooking, reloading for Jackass. Every minute in which Gondor or Eisen, Eisen is far away, but Gondor has the chance to get there. And this Rohan player has just Elvin Wood. Actually, I think then the Isengard player was demolishing structures because this Rohan player, I mean, obviously, when you play double Rohan and one player has Rohirrim Arches, the one with Rohirrim Arches will have always more power points compared to you because he can kill the hero's army. Fireball, <laughs> flip flopping, save them actually. Here you need cripple, man, just cripple them, you know? Seven power points, that's a huge army, boys. This army you call when you play the campaign. In the good campaign and you are on 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 uh, minas tirith and then you are waiting the timer and that's the army you are calling to save you against mordor and it looks like the army is now under control from these two rohan players making lots of pikemen you need just combos make combos 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 and keep your heroes close to armies that's all you got to do gondor is kind of poor Ganav has been killed twice. And also Ganav, pretty much the same situation, man. Don't approach. Keep him behind. You will get levels like crazy if you just swipe with him. Put all your heroes behind the army and let your army fight. Your heroes, at this point of the game, when they have like crazy amount of damage with the Rohir marches, all your heroes gotta do is play the Volking statue game. Volk and keep your distance. Exposed trebuchet, too much damage, dude. They have the high ground, like Obi-Wan, you know? And again, EOD is reloading. You need to fight this. Okay, now, again, don't. Oh, he's gonna die in a second. Oh, he missed. He missed the arrow volley. Nice attempt, though. Cloud break has been used. Palantir and Saruman is going. Look what Saruman is doing, guys. Turn, kill them. Oh boy, this is... Okay, nice. Now we are doing job. We are, we are doing good job. Nine power points. That's good. He doesn't have Cloud Break. He went actually for Eagles, which is a big mistake. You want to have Cloud Break, by the way? Cloud Break is so good against, against Rohirrim Marches. They have like little armor anyway. With the Cloud Break, you can make sure that you one-shot all of them. All of them. Cloud Break and Visa Plus combo is also pretty juicy because they can't get away from your Gandalf. So, middle camp is going to be recaptured by Gondor. Lourdes has been finally revived by Aizen. Lourdes, uh, Saruman is quite low. Got to get back to the well, okay? That's the plan. And we need more catapults, but it looks like Gondor is full on command points. Now, they need to understand, if they don't make a move now, all Rohan got to do is wait for, like, two more minutes. Two more minutes, he will be able to summon the AOD for the second time, kill your all your army, and there is nothing you can do about this when you know enemy has AOD and you don't just fight fight whenever you can and wherever you can okay dude what is this army man holy moly guys this is an army and a half only Rohirrim and Rohirrim archers with a lot of Rohan heroes and summon will be used here the last march of the ends begins. What is Gondor doing? Gondor is here with the with the army. Saruman, look, Saruman. He's gonna die one shot, one shot. He's zooming though. Look Gandalf now. Look this. This is so much damage. Oh, they are rocking <laughs> throwing rocks on themselves, breaking the parts of the of the camp, and just waiting. I mean, I don't know why they are why these guys are waiting though. I can't tell I can't tell you. His army behind the base, maybe he's too afraid of the EOD. Maybe that's he was trying to counterplay the EOD, maybe. 
but the EOD is not ready yet. But it will be there very, very soon. Rohirrim summon will be used. Eagle summon is available. Rohirrim will get one-shotted. There is nothing they can do. Boromir is leading the armies of the of the Gondor into defeat because he's just face tanking. And he's gonna miss the He's gonna get caught. What's what's happening? What's Boromir doing? Use the for Gondor! Okay, now he has AOD2. Now he has AOD2. But AOD now from Gondor. And AOD also from uh, from Rohan and from Gondor. All the Rohir marches. Holy moly. No. Aragorn accidentally cancelling his Atelas. He's going to be using heal. And you got to be careful now with the AOD. Because this guy is very close to his own level 10. Aragorn level 10 is the last thing you want to face. Trust me on that one. All the army is gone. Game resetted to zero. <laughs> AOD, so powerful. Aragorn, just run away, man. Okay. Okay, no problem. Almost level 10. Did he lose Legolas? No, Legolas, actually, that's very good. He, swiped, he saved three of his four heroes. That's massive. Only lost Eoma. And there's plenty of money, I believe. Um, but listen to me. What you want to do when you play Gondor in this situation, if you watch this, and also the players who are playing this, you use AOD there, right? That's good. You kill all the army. And you want to use eagles at the same time to kill the heroes. Use because you killed all the Rohirrim archers with your EOD. Um, there is nothing left that can kill your eagles. So you summon eagles. You kill Legolas first. That's your primary target. Legolas then Theoden. Because oh okay, he's gonna be caught by arrow volley. No, and he's gonna cancel it. If he get caught by arrow volley, he's gonna die. Hundred to zero. There is nothing you can do about that. Okay, he will revive all these heroes. Um, 14 power points for Jackass, but, you know, that doesn't count. He has all the power points unlocked from the spellbook already. Greenleaf has only one power point. Craxy, the gunner player, could go for Cloud Break and should be doing it. And Isengard has nine and a half power points, and he lost his Saruman and Lourdes. Lourdes, still level three. It's unbelievable he didn't get any experience. You know, you have two heroes, and that's what you gotta be paying attention to. Play with your two heroes. Lourdes is the most valuable hero at this point of the game. There are so many crazily impactful targets for your Lourdes, and if you don't cripple them, there is no need to recruit Lourdes. That's his primary mission. Now, you are at the bottom, and they are coming to your top side. This army is definitely able to one-shot your entire castle. They're going to be using the, for, the Rohirrim summon, and not the Rohirrim summon, the Glorious Charge. Cloud Break will be used by Gondor. It, you can see the units are slowing down. And Saruman is back in the business. Eagles will be summoned. That's lots of targets for Eagles. Trampling into the pikemen. Too many pikemen for Rohan to deal with. A target you see the eagle damage is crazy Elma, beautiful shot saruman is gonna get one shotted glorious charge number two will be used the eagles keep going keep attacking the units but eod from oh this is massive dude eod from oh wow, this is massive dude aragon level 10 oh this is massive dude i know i repeat myself but oh my goodness this is massive my dude yeah, good luck dealing now with this dude. Good luck dealing every 4 minutes 30 seconds. That means half of the original cooldown of the regular EOD, he will get to summon his own EOD. Every 4 and a half minutes. You will have to deal with that. What was... That's the first time cripple I see him. And he's crippling him. Use this. No, Faramir will be able... He's the Dwarven Slayer. Faramir the Dwarven Slayer. The thing is, um, this of course is only one battalion of EOD, but for 30 seconds, right? So it's less time, the same duration, but only one battalion. But one battalion is all it takes, because these guys have no mobile units. All they have are immobile units. None of them can outrun an EOD, that's not possible. The middle camp, by the way, is exposed. All the heroes beside Faramir have been killed. Faramir, the only one who is able to show quality. And Rohirrim are again going inside the jeans. He's gonna get warning arrow. Does 
uh, Elma level 5, Theodin is trampling into the Pikeman, he's under Glorious Charge, but it doesn't make him immune to damage. Pikeman still dealing hella damage if you trample into them. You will see once he does it, but he doesn't know what to do, and when he does what, know what to do, he will get one-shotted. Pikes in the Porcupine formation with Forge Bleeds, any hero, even if it's Ganlof, they touch you, you are gone. That's their mean and obvious weakness, Pikes and Porcupine, you know? But the middle, the city has been killed, that means no more lords that can cripple, no more Saruman that can fireball. And I believe the power points from Aizen, I don't want to be rude, but the majority of the power points he was able to collect was from losing stuff, not from actually killing stuff. Because usually in this situation in 2v2, Isengard should be the second player who gets you Balrog every single time. But you need to play well with your heroes. With well, it's not like super difficult. Um, when you know, like, the basic information is Rohir marches with these levels will one shot your heroes. That counts for Gandalf and also for Saruman. So you want to be using your heroes in a much more defensive way. You see the damage with the Rin? It's going for the blast. This guy has been doing a good job dodging the blast. Aragorn, kill Aragorn. Dude, he's study him. Oh, he doesn't, it's not available. He's gonna turn and kill you. He's gonna turn. Aragorn. <laughs> oh, Aragorn. But help your ally, maybe. Your ally is about to get defeated and will get defeated. Now it's gonna be a 1v2 situation. And he was defeated before he was able to summon the Balrog. That's going to be the end of the game. That's like a fiesta game. Lots of mistakes, but still hella funny. You can see the power of Rohan over there. You know, the Rohirrim Arch's power is what the main focus of this game was. Uh, levels, Legolas Rush, doing good job with Legolas, roaming around the map, getting power points, levels, and playing very, very good. Jackass the MVP of this 2v2. Thank you for watching. If you enjoyed, leave a like, subscribe. I will see you next time. Until then, take care of yourself. Keep hitting like a truck and as always, stay beyond standards. Peace out, boys.